Welcome to GCD Technologies. How many projects should I have on my resume? Uh, it is not a subject uh, video, career guidance video for software testers. How many projects should I have on my resume? See, our area is information, information technology, technology. IT software plus hardware plus networking equals to information technology. In IT, IT is the leading industry in the in India. IT is the leading industry in India. Even government industry, not industry, government sector. Top one is railways, Indian railways. Indian railways is having 14 lakh employees, but Indian IT is having 60 lakh employees. Number one industry in India, IT. Okay. In IT, we have several job roles, software developer, software tester, business analyst, network administrator, etc. Our area is software tester, testing, okay, software tester. Say, uh, how, uh, say in other industry resumes, banking resume, uh, insurance resume, etc. resumes, uh, we may not have this term project. They mention their career responsibilities. Suppose three years banking experience, five years insurance experience. They mention their career responsibilities. But in our IT, we mention our projects. Say software projects. <coughs> Say uh, here, how many projects required for our resume? That depends on experience. See here, experience wise, uh, two types of resumes. One is experienced experienced resume another fresher fresher resume actually fresher resume resume means recap see fresher cv fresher cv fresher resume is not correct term okay fresher experienced see for freshers no project required Suppose if you have a computer background degree, for example, BTEC CSC, Computer Science and Engineering, BTEC IT, MCA, uh, etc. Computer background degree, you can put your academic project in fresher CV. Uh, suppose yours is BTEC Mechanical, Civil, uh, automobiles, uh, next to um, mechanical, triple E, uh, etc. Non-computer degree. You need not mention uh, what is that one? Academic project. Some people uh, mentioning uh, training institute projects. Uh, they do training, uh, live project training and they may mention their project. That is also okay. Okay, for fresher academic project. Next, for experience day, uh, you need to you need to put your career projects. Here uh, we have one plus, two plus, three plus, uh, four plus, uh, five plus, like this. Five plus, just a minute, like this. Suppose. Uh, 10 plus etc. <clears throat> See uh, here also in experience uh, resumes uh, real resumes see real persons next to fake fake resumes real tester fake tester. See in real also two types suppose I have seven years experience in software testing manual and automated testing all seven years real. I can mention that. 
Next, fake. Uh, suppose I don't have any software testing experience. I have three or four years gap after my qualification. Uh, I am uh, I am learning. I learned uh, software testing courses, uh, manual testing, automated testing, for example, Selenium with Java, etc. I practiced more now uh, with my friends, reference, etc. I am mentioning uh, three plus years experience, fake experience. Suppose if you are able to show your experience in resume, suppose if you can face interviews, if you can survive in real time, then okay, no problem. So many fake testers are surviving with their capabilities. Okay. Next, fake also two types. Uh, fully fake, complete pay, fake and uh, partial fake see some people suppose i have five years experience and i have three or four years gap also after five years experience for uh, searching uh, a new job i can mention five uh, years real experience next to three years fake experience total i can focus seven to eight years experience to get better opportunities that is also possible. See real experience, fake experience, in fake experience, complete fake, next to partial fake, some real, some fake. But for fake experience, uh, two or three experience okay, but more than three showing is difficult. Uh, okay, anyhow, uh, for <clears throat> sometimes uh, my old students, even five plus years, real experience person also asked some projects i asked him why uh, you are real tester uh, you have real experience of five years then why you need a uh, project like uh, then he told sir i have five years experience in last five years i involved in a single project testing product that is product in that product maintenance testing only, I spent those five years. Suppose if I want to get a new job now, uh, showing that single project for five plus years, uh, I think it is not fair. That's why I want to mention uh, two or three projects in my resume like answer. That is also possible. Okay, come to mainstream. Suppose for four years experience, how many projects, how many software testing projects required? Four projects, seven projects, three projects, two projects, one project. See, that depends on scope of the project. There is no measurement for four years, four projects, three years, three projects like uh, measurement. That depends on scope of projects. Some people, some people, uh, handle two or three projects in four years. Some people may handle four or five projects. Some people may handle only single project maintenance. See, that depends. Anyhow, for reasonable uh, reasonability point of view, for four plus years experience, you put two or three projects. Enough two or three projects uh, and you uh, in the interview you explain scope of your project next for one plus years one project is enough one project is enough two plus uh, two projects three plus two or three four plus oh four plus uh, two or three enough five plus uh, maximum four projects or 10 plus test lead or test manager roles, uh, 8 or 9 projects. Thank you.